higher thinking numerical on motion the statement of the numerical is prove that if an object is thrown vertically upward the time of ascent is equal to the time of descent so in this we have to prove that if we throw an object upward and it comes down then in both cases the time of ascent is equal to the time of descent that is time of going up and time of coming down is equal the solution number 1 first case when the object is thrown vertically upward then here v is equal to 0 because after reaching a certain height velocity will be 0 time is equal to t1 by applying the formula v is equal to u plus gt1 here the acceleration due to gravity we have taken g instead of a because here the involvement of acceleration due to gravity here the acceleration due to gravity that is g will be negative because the object is grown going against the gravity when an object goes against the gravity its value is negative so putting these values v is equal to 0 u plus g will be minus g t1 we will solve it g t1 will come here you will uh, u is equal to g t1 and t1 will be u upon g this is the first case when the object is going upward now second case when the object is coming downwards then here u is equal to 0 time is equal to t2 by applying the same formula that is v is equal to u plus g2 because u is equal to 0 we will obtain it to be v is equal to 0 plus g t g t2 here we will see that if as the object falls back to the earth with the same velocity as it was thrown vertically upward you will see that when we throw an object in the upper direction it come back with the same velocity so v v v will be equal to the u find that is final velocity will be equal to the initial velocity hence we will use u instead of v here the equation will become u is equal to 0 plus g t2 solving this we will get t2 is equal to u upon g this is the second equation and this is the first equation from first equation and second equation we will get t2 is equal to t1 hence proved